Well, everyone, welcome to AI Movies Review, and I'm here to review The Painter, this new action thriller coming your way from director Kamani Ray Smith, from writer Brian Bacciolato, and this star is Charlie Weber as Peter, who in our opening scene suffers terrible loss when his wife gets shot during some kind of mixed. Wired CIA mission. And we jump 17 years, he's just a painter now, he's left the espionage life behind him, but when his supposed daughter, played by Madison Bailey, shows up on his doorstep, he must reconnect with his father, played by John Voigt, who runs the CIA division, and take on some evil spy people. And also find out what happened to his wife and why he's being dragged back into this life. In general, I think this film has some rock-solid action. It's not as overly edited as I thought it was going to be, and there's some decent choreography, and I'm like, okay, I can appreciate that. Like, in a world where you have John Wick and Mission Impossible and stuff like that. Kind of pales in comparison, but it's solid, it has some thrills. I'll admit, it has an interesting idea, and especially, like, Peter has this heightened sense of hearing, and, like, that's used in an interesting way in terms of how he does his job, and then he must confront, like, these new, young, like, bred versions of himself with his skills. And okay, that's interesting. Some of the acting is not the strongest, but I do think that both Weber and John Voigt do a really fine job with the film. John Voigt, especially, you could feel that veteran presence. I was in for some of the mystery of this. I was in for, like, two-thirds of it, and then it just kept spiraling. Like, a lot of things happen in the third act that keep unraveling, and a lot of, like, the reveals, the twists feel very hollow or very telegraphed, and you're just like, oh, I cannot believe it. Yeah, you can. It's all that coming a mile away. And, like, it just gets so convoluted in the third act. Like, the antagonist that you're dealing with throughout the film is very bland and uninteresting, the story convoluted. But I feel like there is a decent amount of depth in terms of, like, the love that's permeating here, and I think Peter goes through an interesting arc of, like, he doesn't have his wife anymore. He lost her through that whole entire situation, and now is trying to connect with this young woman who might be his daughter, and there's an interesting dynamic there. But overall, I was enjoying this up until the third act, and it really dragged it down. With just these, like, overly telegraphed and felt like unearned kinds of twists and turns along the way. But by the end it's still a, like, okay action thriller, and especially one that's going to drop in January. So, like, if you like action thrillers, this is worth a watch. It's an hour and forty minutes. It's not crazy long. But yeah, so it has some merits. It has a lot of detractions, too, and it kind of falls somewhere in the middle. But those are my thoughts on The Painter. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies and don't forget to subscribe my channel.